This is the Brain Chip Podcast. Hear from our thought leaders about neuromorphic computing, beneficial AI, and how Brain Chip's Akita is pushing AI to the edge. This podcast is a place for investors, practitioners, and anyone interested in the future of AI. Hello, everybody. My name is Sean Hare, the CEO of BrainChip. And today, we have a wonderful guest for our podcast, Derek Kuhn, the CEO of Hala. Hala is a provider of ultra-low power RF technology that paves the way for battery-free operation of wireless IoT sensors and devices. Welcome to the podcast, Derek. Yeah, thank you, Sean. It's, uh, it's a pleasure. Really appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, well, I think we're going to have a great conversation as you and I have had several in the past and there's a lot to talk about in this space because we're both um, targeting incredible low power operations on the edge. So let's just start with something that kind of gets the listeners a little more familiar with yourself and the company. Can you just take a moment to describe you know, a little bit about your personal background and a little bit about the company's journey since you found or was founded in 2019? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, Sean, I'm an engineer. You know, I've I've uh, been a part of the telecom community for a few different decades, as well as embedded computing and, um, uh, you know, the communications side of uh, the tech. You know, really, really interested me and uh, brought me to Hyla. You know, Hyla is really focused on breakthrough low power radio design. Right, we. We had to prove that we could do something beyond what's available out there. So we, you know, we worked to introduce our tech on silicon so others could evaluate, you know, see for themselves. Um, we believe that there's a need, you know, based on numerous customer interactions, uh, you know, some of which, you know, from your team as well, that devices, you know, have to be able to live on a single battery for a product life or, you know, the, there's going to be a future where we don't longer need a battery at all um, and devices can live off of harvested energy indefinitely. Um, so, you know, Hyla's built small prototype devices that we believe um, are the, uh, you know, world's first true ambient Wi-Fi realizations. And, uh, you know, we're going to be bringing the same to Bluetooth and other popular protocols. Awesome. Awesome. Great, great way to start. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about Hyla's uh, low power offering? You can go a little bit deeper on that and how it actually reduces the need for batteries. Yeah, for sure. Um, when you achieve power efficiency breakthroughs, you make a solution more sustainable because, you know, you're using less energy. Um, less energy means battery powered devices last longer, resulting in fewer batteries being needed. Uh, you know, Hyla's solution offers a thousand times lower power than can a, a conventional Wi-Fi radio. Uh, you know, our tech is tailored to be efficient, low throughput sensing while repurposing existing Wi-Fi infrastructure or Bluetooth infrastructure. Um, it paves the way for migrating from, you know, wired to fully wireless sensing. Um, and in many consumer and industrial applications, you know, the manpower costs associated with the inconvenience of battery changes is alleviated as well. So, uh, you know, I think that will result in massive OPEX improvements for, uh, you know, wireless sensing in the future. As well as create a lot of independence as well. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, let's talk a little bit about what our companies are collaborating on. And why don't you describe that and in your own words? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Isla is, um, you know, driven by energy and, you know, uh, cost reduction drivers. Uh, we see a need across multiple market verticals for connected devices and sensors. Uh, it kind of gives us a front row seat to emerging trends for what end users um, want to do with device data. Um, and a key trend, of course, is to do on-device AI for edge AI connected devices. Um, we're looking to collaborate with thought leaders and innovators in edge AI processing, and that led us to you, Sean, and to the, to, to the uh, BrainShip team. Uh, you know, that, that was kind of how it all came about. Interesting, great. Well, let's talk about where 
we think this ends up downstream, you know, what applications and particularly maybe talk a little bit about in the medical health and life science space. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, in medical equipment, whether it's for patient monitoring um, or, you know, personal everyday health info based on wearable technology, there's a need for energy efficient, rapid, secure, private feedback of healthcare metrics. Um, you know, I see this as a key area of collaboration between Hyla and BrainChip. Uh, we have the ability to analyze data locally and uh, ensure that we have a power efficient path back to, you know, a host, whether it's, um, you know, on a device or in the cloud. Great. Well, we were both recently at the Sensor Converge conference, our companies were. Why don't you tell why don't you tell the listeners a little bit what you showcased there? Yeah, it's always a fantastic event. Um, you know, very excited to demonstrate extremely low power Wi-Fi communications of object classification inferencing based on brain chips, Akita neuromorphic compute, and Hyla's BSC 2000 hyper power efficient Wi-Fi backscatter uh, communications. You know, the, the combined tech illustrated the uh, what's possible for energy efficient edge AI applications from anomaly detection and medical imaging to product identification and retail facilities, maybe even quality control and manufacturing as well. I, I think together we're kind of just scratching the surface here though, because um, you know when you showcase something like this that hasn't been done before, it, uh, it, it kind of gets people thinking about what might be possible in the future. And um, you know, a lot of really interesting uh, potential use cases come from industry events like this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, you know, the beauty of events like that. It stimulates the thoughts and you see all these possibilities. And and, uh, it's, and it's always good to hear from your potential customers about what they value the most. Absolutely. Um, let's maybe shift gears just a little bit, you know, and um, talk a little bit about brain shift as you get familiar with our technology. Um, what do you see opportunities for other developers and researchers and working with our technology? Your own words, what you see, you know, for a variety of use cases. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a great question. Um, you know, from our side, uh, engineers make sacrifices in power efficiency and performance for speed of execution, velocity all the time. Um, you know, we believe there's opportunities to conserve with clever design techniques and by reimagining what's possible. I think that, um, you know, coming together like this, we enhance uh, the ability to really leverage what the ecosystem might be able to offer. Um, you know, we can use, utilize both our plat platforms for a product path towards edge AI in the future, you know, in the microwatt domain. And I think that's that's the key, right? Is getting the power to the point where devices like this can operate um, independently uh, from, you know, being plugged into the wall or, um, uh, you know, uh, having to change, you know, batteries all the time. Uh, I think that's the promise of what might be able to come together here. Yeah, I think, you know, it's interesting. Um, to me, about the edge space, the demands are getting harder and more demanding, which I think is the right trend. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. It, it, you know, because those of us that are pioneers, like your company and our company here, that's our mission to, to lead that charge. And the more the more capability we put in front of our customers, the more they want more. And so that just tells you we're on the right path to solve the big problems of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Good. Well, listen, you know, we're going to let's go ahead and wrap it up. And and um, I'm going to just turn it over to you. Anything you want to make a comment on? And, you know, in the last comment, the floor is yours. No, I appreciate that, Sean. Thank you. Um, you know, I think what you guys have accomplished um, is, is is something that uh, I believe will 
you know, really push the boundaries of how people think of edge AI compute on, on devices. Um, and, you know, we believe that, you, you know, you, you need to still be able to communicate that information back into the network. Um, and, you know, with low power inferencing combined with low power connectivity, I, I think that um, it, these two tools coming together give, uh, you know, engineers options and companies opportunity to be able to create products uh, that have, you know, abilities to, uh, to, to you know, uh, understand data from those sensors uh, like we have never seen before um, and really, you know, utilize the network in a way in which, um, you know, we don't need to communicate enormous amounts of data directly to the cloud for processing. We can actually make intelligent decisions on device. That's going to be, I think, the promise of what working together and edge AI in this space will deliver. What a, what a wonderful way to end it. That's a beautiful summary of, of, of the direction that we're both going. Derek, I want to thank you for, for attending. As always, it's a pleasure to chat with you. Uh, I learn something every time I talk to you as well, uh, particularly as you know, you're an amazing thought leader in the space. So thanks so much for your time today. Oh, very kind, Sean. Thank you for the opportunity. Looking forward to, uh, uh, you know, working together further. Thanks for listening to the Brain Chip Podcast. Please remember to rate and review on your favorite podcast platform.